The, the star pieces are emerging for Heroic, whereas for Furia, we still have yet to see Keiserato in that world-beating form, really across the entire event. Last map was quiet for Cello and Yuri as well. It's only been fallen as that consistent piece of this team. Triple Julies. My oh my. I do like these. Keiserato's got a crazy flash for B. And now it has a smoke. Thank you, Jakey. We've got everything lined up, ready for this B rush, but it is going to be Heroic taking middle, showing face, and going back perhaps to this B setup where Nerds waits. So the more patient Fury are, the better this will pay off. Have you seen this crazy new run boost orb strat on overpass, Harry? No. No, okay, I'll show you later. Oh, actually, yes, I yeah. have. I have, I have. I wonder if we'll see that today. It's pretty out. The Olaf boost 2.0. They are. Maybe. A man can dream. But Heroic, they got to make it a reality here. Walking through that B monster into this flash smoke setup. Cello, what you got? These flashes from Keiserato better be incredible. They better be like the best flashes I've ever seen because he's going to have to lob these in now and hope that this sets up his teammates Lovely. for success. Cello with one. That's enough to tip the scales in Furia's favor. But he will get tapped out oh. shortly after and rotating in a little later is Kay Serato. Oh, clean. Trades his teammate down in pit. They're fighting from short, but these duelies don't have the range on them. And Tessa's actually beat him out to low T's inside of the site here. The info should be clear to Furia. That bomb taking a lot of space, but nowhere near the plant. Such a fury who back up. Heroic will not feel comfortable to plant here, but they've got to do it. Ten seconds. Someone's got to stick that bomb and provide cover. Now it's denied. They can just rush this. Unwinnable for Tessez. No matter what he does, he's done. He's dead. He is dusted as Furia sweep it under the fridge. Save that for later. Yeah, fantastic that works out. The, the one thing I was worried about, right, is you have Kay Serato lining up the flashes for those B-site players. In a way, you know, leaving yourselves 2-1-2 two -two like that, it kind of makes you a jack of all trades, but a master of none. And at least the flashes are, are really sound to yeah. get Cello the kill. And then Kay Serato comes in and finally kind of lives up to the hype with a big 3K. You're going to see him in that sort of rotate position. He'll be the first to leave that site. He'll be the first to rotate back down as well. So, you know, he's at least at home playing over towards CT at the back rail, but here's the push in towards this B site, and it's quick, it's fast. This time, there's no flashes. Oh, pacey round, but that smoke is a real problem. It gives Nurse nowhere to go but gray screen. Cello down in the water gets a double, and they're going to keep trying to push the issue here. It's not going to get any better. Cello patient, kicks and reloading, and ooh, some steps made, but Tech Nines are not going to win this one out here. Okay, Art gets a bit hungry, but there's Cello finishing what he started. And Nikitos Deagle, we've seen it once a series before. It would need to be even better now. Surely not. Surely not. Shadow and a shot off, but they can swing with him. He finds a kill. But Furia find the round. Yeah, they play it very safe. They're ready to trade and swing off of one another. You've got a lot of angles there to worry about if you're Nikodos and Fury don't make life easy for him. They're not keen on feeding that deagle, as you've said. You've already seen what it's capable of. Heroic try their hand at an up-tempo playing towards that B site, but that round was with some investment. Means they're going to have another low econ one here. They buy up a hero gun on Tessez. That's dropped over by Captain Kicksand. And so a chance for him to keep the pressure on, make this round expensive. And I tell you what, like... Oh, hello. He's just... Is he Probably readjusted? Fine. He's just, just readjusting. readjusting. Yep, he's yep. just having a bit of a... You know, if you're going to have the hero gun, your headset wants to be on your head properly. So that's what that he's is, doing there. Yeah, bare minimum. Um, there is... Okay, I do have one slight worry about this round. Go as on. crazy as that is. Go but on. Fallen's only running dualies. Not a problem. If the AK gets dropped and you're up against largely armorless opponents, that is not an issue. If Tessas is able to open the round and then you get a gun in the hands of Shush, suddenly I'm actually very paranoid about this round. So let's see the mileage that Tessas gets out of this hero AK. Oh, Yuri skirted pass for now. And there's the gun drop that you're worried about. Fallen can play late on long. It's up to Yuri to 
snuff this one out. Pistol gone. The rifle gets past Tessas v. Fallen. He is low. I mean, the Julies can win this fight, but Kixon holding for the aggressive flank, and the bomb is dropped. He won't be ready for combat. It's only a Glock. No way. He sticks the reload in the open. Fallen falls. Can't beat out that AK after all. And Yuri somehow just trying to hold on to this bomb. They're coming from the site as well. This is not a safe situation. The Glock's down. Damage. The AK can't even finish. 2v2. How are we in this mess? Fury should still win it in the long run. They've got the armor behind their guns. But anything is possible now with Nerds. As he creeps up closer, that's going to be favorable for Art, right? But he's worried about a lot is Art on default. Thankfully, the aim punch will wreck Nerds. And so just Nikodos left. He's going to go running in. Kind of just wants to die here. Ooh, no. This is the plan. No time. By, by half a second. Where's the M4? Can he get it? Yeah. By half a second, Harry. That hurts, but it's only the uh, eco for heroic. It's not the end of the world. Oh, I knew there was a reason to be worried. <laughs> oh, what do you mean? They won the round. All under control. Oh, it was close, wasn't That's it? how they planned it. I don't Yuri gets away way too much there. Multi-kill. Lives for so long against Nerds. And yeah, the aim punch made all the difference on that M4 there. Okay. Heroic. They've chipped at the economy. Can they break down this wall of fury on the best CT side in the game? Little boost. Yeah, I think the job gets way easier for Heroic if Nerds is able to bring to the table what he did on Nuke. And I think that map is going to be important for having him feel warmed up and capable in these situations, right? Because you're going to notice him playing the extremities a lot, in particular down here towards B. If he's able to get away with kills and keep the pressure on, that makes life far easier for the rest of the gang over on the other end of the map. And so right now, they kind of fan out early. They take that control over towards mid. They put the pressure on. And what's that, what that does is it kind of forces, rotates back up towards upper. Fallen doesn't want to hang around as he's getting flashed off the angles. And so the info gets cut off a little bit here for Furia. And they're having to react to what they've heard earlier in the round. That leaves them with just two players down here on B, right as Heroic are moving in. Smoke is such a problem to get through on this site. Heroic have a lot of space, but they can't get apart. They need these kills first. Got to jump over the barrel. Smoke missed jump for Shush. It's getting a bit pandemonium in the site. Cello has done a lot of damage. There's still a man unknown about inside of the smoke. Art finally reveals himself, and Nikodos has to get this kill now. He does. Clinical shot, break, and a tag from the AWP. It's an alternative plant. Fallen goes out into the open. Does he know? Yes, he does. But Nikodos has the shot. The AWP can't finish what it started and Nikodos unleashes the beast in the B site. He's a rifler. That is just brutal. And for Nikodos, real snappy in these clutch moments, yeah. man. He gave it a go with the Deagle in the last round. This time shows up with his M4. And that was like the one metric he looked to really best fallen in is his ability when, when he's not got that, that, that big gun in hand. He still finds his impact. He still finds his way. For fallen, who's been consistent for Furia across this entire event, that is such an unfortunate miss yeah. at the worst possible times. And I say miss, he still hit the shot. It's just the leg. And so a heartbreaking way for it to go if you're Furia. You're kind of your, your dependable veteran player just lets one get skirted on through from Heroic and suddenly that's put some real wind in their sails here. A chance to recover because the pistol round on, on overpass, especially since we moved into MR12, man, it's so valuable. Getting those those three, uh, four, sorry, three, three or two rounds on the back of the pistol is just unreal. It's almost all your work done on the T side right there. Meanwhile, Heroic, it is going to be a grind, but it's helped out massively if they brush this force by a side. Suddenly, they get their freebies here and now. The damage they did in that Hero AK round is on your screens now. Only two M4s. Yuri alone with his on top site. Heroic look like they want to blast into B, but not before they sell a bit of a fake on A. And these double entries, that's going to pull everyone out of position here for Furia. They start shuffling, revealing their positions. Bomb might still go into them, but it's not a worry. They're getting picked apart. The rifles are gone. Case Serato does retrieve it, but there's the nade. Perfectly tied.
aimed and it opens everything up for Nika Doz, who has some laser aim right now. Art's oh, taking the position, but 15 seconds. Unless things get really weird, the bomb is already A, though. So he's just fighting for survival at this point. Nika Doz will not let it happen. Another solid round from the Dane. That's heroic. Find a second. Bit by bit, building into this T side. Now there's a freebie, Harry. We love a freebie. Yeah, uh, you know, and, and the thing that's scary is when, when Nikodos looking this good, and you know, we've seen some fantastic Nikodos overpass rounds in the past. In the same moment that Fallen has had a couple of missteps, is having a bit of a slower start, is on the back foot economically, so he's not going to get to bring that AWP out anytime soon. It, it's like the the perfect storm for heroic to to do something miraculous here on overpass. The one certainty for Furia is now uncertain. And so suddenly you move into like a, a very scary world for the Furia squad. They're gonna group up over towards the connector. But there's not much to get excited about in this round. This might just be a shush mow down. He hears all these footsteps. All eight of them, it's like a spider's coming his way. And he's got the glass out, puts them under it. Then what? Paper under the glass, Harry? Spider got out. Oh, Terrifying. Dear. Worst case scenario. Oh, oh, ah. oh, God. Oh, God. They're everywhere. It's venomous. Those legs feel weird when they walk on your skin. Furia skirting around the map, but they won't have the sight. And a confident plant. Heroic know they have the room, and they catch out on the jump up. So, okay, Serato saving Armorless. And Heroic saving their bacon for later, presumably. This has been a very good start for the Heroic squad. Uh, you know, it, it looked, it always looks scary when the T side doesn't find their way in in the pistol. And so this lets you breathe a huge sigh of relief. As you say, you just have to think back to that Hero gun round. And it was all the damage found there that they've been able to capitalize on here and now. And so already this is going to cause problems for Furia. Not just because the scoreline is equal and Heroic are looking threatening and switched on and very active all across the map. But as we were just touching on, you're, you're going to be lacking a few key pieces here. You won't have an AWP to play with. Mm. Serato could drop one over, but then he would be Glass, and you never want that. Glass M4 just doesn't exist. So he's got to reinvest. As a result, no AWP for Fallen in their return to rifles, that's going to be put off now for a good few rounds. And so you need to find a way in. You have to slow Heroic down. Because we saw what happens, right, on both maps, really. Like, when one team kind of gets to play from the front and they're the ones setting the pace, you're always left playing catch-up. And that's that's a very stressful spot to be in. You saw Ard's kind of individual oh. form hit the deck a little bit on that previous map. Oh, my God. Ah. Catch on the jump, almost connected. The wall bang was nice, and it continues to be. Need stack on pillar and barrel, nothing. Fury can now retake those positions. Post nade. I want to see if Fury play with the same confidence they displayed on the CT side of Ancient, some of the space they took, some of the aggressive moves. There are options to do that on overpass. We haven't seen any water control yet. Walking up on the top site, Heroic. Rotating out of connector and they're into a triple stack now. So Case Heroic is going to be that guy playing the rotate between either site, right? And you can kind of tell Fury's read of the round based on where he finds himself. Right now, the fact that he's going back down to B means they're getting a little more paranoid about that. They still have this forwards toilet control, but they haven't seen anything from it yet. And so this actually leaves that third player just a little ways away Can't as believe. Heroic are poising for this A hit. Yeah. But Fallen is looking to make amends, looking to make up for it. Throwing an execute, but they haven't even cleared toilets. They have no idea that two players were here the entire time. And all of that info was so apparent for Furia. They finally pounce on their prey. 2v4 now in 15 seconds. This is a save. Undecided, but confirmed. Oh, that's a disastrous kill for Nurt as well. So they get rid of the, or they get the orb rather into the next. That's something here for Heroic, but Furia 
Yeah, completely unperturbed. Even while Hiroka throwing that A execute ready to go, Case Rotto still the third man at B because Fury think there's no way everyone is here in toilets. They haven't even checked it. Yeah, I mean, you know, that, that rotate comes down to, like, Keiserato is just kind of surplus to requirement over on upper. They already have such deep control. I don't think they were ever envisioning a world where Heroic are full execing into that side of the map without having even one player yeah. take a cursory glance in towards the bathroom. I mean, it goes both ways, because Heroic, it's 40 seconds. They think there's no way Furious still are so deep in the in the map at 40 seconds. You'd expect the rifles to be on bomb site. So Fallon making a risky move. Nade on the smoke. He sees a lot of players there and he even picks Tessas out of the picture. Fantastic way to open the round for Furia coming in with a play. I think they needed over the monster as well to get that smoke play. And another boost. Furia tricky. You got to be very careful with this. Be silent. Jump together. Ooh, and he saw it. Doesn't matter. Art oh, still gets away with the kill. Furia very lucky to be alive right now. With these two plays they make, they have two kills to show for it. And now they can sit back and relax, let Heroic rot. I think, uh, you know, for, for Fallen, one of the things I really like, and actually this is a case for a lot of the Brazilian teams, even the ones that like we saw go on runs at the Major, uh, I think they're all quite ahead of the curve in blowing the smokes open and get this yeah. orb involved. You'll see them do it all the time on Furious' side to, to bring Fallen into the fold, to open up angles that Heroic are already kind of mentally writing off. And that orb being on the other side as opposed to an M4 is just like a, a, a world ender. Oh, that's awkward for Art. I can't believe he recommits <laughs> into the fight. That is madness. But not punished for it. And a non-starter of a round for Heroic. Fury are able to, to lock them out before the round even really begins, right? Starts with that AWP peak, blowing the smoke open, and then the triple boost to knock out another man. And from that moment on, the round was essentially over for Heroic. So a very dominant one for Fury to put on the board. And they're slowly but surely breaking free of the money problems. Ooh, okay. Punish this time. Nice play from Kicks into Jiggle. Stops that player pushing him as soon as they do. And Heroic save a couple of guns. But yeah, Furia, I love the decisions being made. Like you said, that nade combo made very nice. That's a great play. Don't know how Art gets away with that kill on the boost. Yeah, I mean, you'll you'll see it on like every map they play. They, they are always nading smokes open for Fallen. And fair enough. Yeah. You know, without good, he's looked. Fair play. I'd give him every nade he asked for. Heroic with a timeout. Still early in this game. Still time to recover this half. Get a couple more. Because while a 9 3 is winnable, it's not where they want to sit as, in theory, favorites to this series. Although they didn't show it in the first map. They certainly did on Nuke. Yeah, Fury are also aren't slouches on the T side. I think when you go look at the numbers on that, it's like really inflated because they had that one game versus Koi back at the Major, which I'm sure you'll remember where they went wild on the T side, but Koi were a bit... Uh, Koi were very underwhelming. Yeah. But still, even in their other oh. matchups here, they've always been good for a, a very healthy T side of Furia. Rocky got an early pop B in this round. And this time it's only Cello here. He's got Art at barrels, but... Cello's the first line of defense. Re-moving back in is Art. Oh, now we're cooking. Two-man set up on the monster hold. Flash may not even get Art either if it goes over the top. Let's see what he's got for us. Through the smoke. That's dangerous. They're going to pay the price. If you really want to commit, you've just seen two monster. And Heroic have nothing to show for this round. They have one flash remaining. They've used everything. And this has gone from bad to worse. Smoke spam has to connect. Furia are not giving them the entry. And this is just a, a round gone wrong right now for Heroic. In the meantime, over on A, Fallen is sat in a very comfy position for himself, right? Up on top of dice, he can just take a, a free shot here down range and then drop off behind the dice box and kind of go through the motions on that AWP. With only one flash on Nikodos, they're going to have to save that for when they actually try to move into the site. And so as a result, he gets a shot off for Frieda's Fallen. Now, hanging around up here is kind of wild. But at the same time, it's the last thing Heroic are expecting. That flash will come out sooner now that they've learned about the AWP. 
But the fact you had to pay the price of losing a player to even get that flash off is a big problem for Heroic. Fallen's got this on lock. Yuri's allowed them to cross, and he's going to shoot them in the back here from Toilet. Out he pops with the closing kills, and Keserato to assist Furia. Perfect. As soon as Fallen makes that call, he sees him get out of Toilet. He just doesn't reswing. Make sure Long is locked down, and Heroic don't know it, but there's an enemy right behind them. Yeah, I feel like some desperate calls being made. Kicks are walking through the monster smoke. Fallen only missed on that one round that Nikodos took him out on the B site. Otherwise, he's been a bit of a rock. I'm sure that round had implications. It led to Heroic getting their three, but that may be all they leave with. Yeah, I, I feel like that attempt to walk through the smoke, while it looks crazy, it's more like trying to play around a bit of a tendency for Furia, which is to have Cello over at barrels and Art usually floating around over towards short. Like, you're going to see that a hell of a lot. I mean, they're even doing it in this round right here. And that's often because Keiserato is then allowed to roam a little bit more around the map with those two guys playing a bit more locked in to specific spots. So they're like trying to abuse the idea that no one from Furia is holding that smoke at Monster. They're just hoping the smoke acts like a wall. Of course, that wasn't the case. And so Heroic are made to look kind of silly. Easily done on the anti. Yuri will escape. They're gonna try and chase him down, but he has so much room to run. They don't know which way he's gone. And there's the cover. Don't kill your teammate, Art. Luckily, it's under control. Bomb loose. Running out monster. There's no hero in this round, nor in this half for Heroic. Maybe you could argue Nikidos with that clutch round, but not today. Seven to three. Furia making a statement on the CT side, the best place to be on overpass, but it's all temperamental. Yeah, it, it, it's a very well put together CT side, and you, you can only deal with the side you've got in front of you, and at least Furia are really sticking the landing in that regard. It's all coming together beautifully. They've had good crossfire set up, great map control getting taken whenever they try to go for it, even that round there, serving as a kind of key example of that. You're going down connector into a crossfire from the back of Con and the short push. And Sephiria keep it very mobile again here, right? This time it's Fallen taking that AWP down into the connector. Oh, this wallbang has done a lot again onto Nikodos, this time running with a rifle. No way they go for the boost. There's not even three players here. They're just going for the jumping info shot. T-Flash actually blocks them there. Now Nerds knows what's up, but no one to capitalize. No one to run out monster now, huh? That's when you want that. It's always the way, isn't it? Like when, when Heroic do review this game, they're going to see the one round that they went for that monster aggro was the one round that Furia had multiple monster, eyes yeah. on it. This is the exact reason. Like, you know, we've seen it every round since. This is why Heroic have attempted that. They're scared of Fallen on top side as well. Oh, that's a risky play. More wall bangs. And is this a real rotate? He runs most of the way. We'll ignore that nade. Smoke comes in. Loads of util for Heroic. They can double pump this. They're trying to fake out right now. Gauge. Figure out what util Furia have left. But triple upper with no T's nearby means that Heroic may have found the way in. They may have found the gap. A big multi-kill may be required from Furia. Art starts strong. He's going to flash himself back in for more as well. Nade is good, but Art, does he want to fight for this one? Not hiding out any longer. Kicks and hunts him down. Cello locked out back of the CT side. Case Serato breaks his smoke. And while the bomb gets planted, we finally have a real retake round for Furia. There's still a man up. It's not going to be easy for Heroic to hold on. Not at all, but when you're T-side overpass, you know it's never going to be easy. Someone's got to make a hero play. Tessas and Shush trying to throw their names into that hat, but oh. with Shush dead. Now we look to Tessas over at short with Kicksan kind of pulling the attention in. Tessas eventually going to be able to fall on back out of there and just play around the bomb. So right now, Kicksan and Tessas look to walk it over the line for Keserato. He's already running. Dude, I don't know what Keserato is doing in that round. He's heaven. He's not. He's barely facing. He's barely fighting. I don't know if he's holding for a maybe flank, but no one was really getting anything going. They had a a four v two, 
Tessas taps out Fallen in Heaven, and everyone just gets scared. No one wants to make a play. No one wants to push in. They can just group up and chase, but I felt so neutered from Furia. That's a kill that ended it, felt like. It just gets stuck in CT graffiti. Great round for Heroic, but felt like a, and a four on two. And hey, if Aurora get five at the end of the half. Yeah, that's a very well recovered it. half, right? Yeah. Especially when you don't win the pistol. If you're able to get out with five rounds on your T side, you are, you are more than happy with that. Aurora go back to this, this slow looking default early on. They hold for any mid aggro. Trying to see if Furia throw that in right at the end of the half. Fury won't oblige them though, and instead throw in this boost once more to collect the info that B is clear. So funny they do it with an org as well. Like you see, you used to see Astralis do this with an MP9 because you could jump shot and it's actually really accurate. But he's just going for info. Look how Fallen. deep they've got. Same position he's always in. Have Holy. heroic learned their lesson, or will they once more offer up and pay tribute to that fallen AWP? The orb demands a sacrifice, Harry. It demands blood. It maybe even demands the scout of Nikodos, but that's on long. And Furia sat back with three strong on this site. Nikodos needs a jump in case Arato gets a wiggle, gets a jiggle. 20 seconds, it's all becoming clear. Rotates can start to move up because Fallen's hit his first shot. Nerds the front line down in an instant and flashes keep the pressure on. That allows Caserado to succeed. Bomb inside of the smoke, absolutely hoping and praying that this will go down. They will, 2v3, hunting kills and Kixon still surviving. Last bullet headshot upgrades to the AWP and somehow still surviving this round. This is a mess. How he gets. Last round here, Furia must attempt it. It's down to the gunfights. Two scopes on this T side. Kicks a perfect angle for his kill. How has he saved this round? The captain has put them in his backpack and carried them across the finish line. There doesn't seem to be time. Are oh, chasing down these two players, but Kixon's toying with him and it's done. Heroic, just enough at the end of their T side. It felt dire, but five will do.
Furia and Heroic delivering us a bloody brawl here on Overpass. It's like these two teams are fighting for their life, and that's because they are. Elimination here at the bottom of Group A, and no one wants to go home, especially not these two teams who feel like they shouldn't even be here. Furia were around from the playoffs against Maus, and Heroic never even got started after having to face the new Liquid on LAN. But we can only have one winner. Heroic swap over. Just about enough at the end of their T side. They now sit on the defense. Furia, a hard half, but they've been good for it so far. Yeah, I mean, this one gets into a bit of coin flip territory now as 7-5, right? Those extra few rounds that were put up down the stretch, the two right at the end for Heroic, have given them a real fighting chance here. For Furia, this pistol is paramount. We always say T side rounds on overpass, man. That's rarer than bloody... Something that's really rare, the dodo, right? So dead now, of course. Yeah, dead now, of course. And so the Furious Squad, if they can, if they can find success in a pistol round, that does a lot of the legwork for them here. That lays a lot of worries to rest. But it's far from a certainty. They've got their eyes set on the A player. Good bounty of util to try and get in. Two smokes. Molotov as well. You can try and cut off the angle over towards the dumpster. You can cut the rotates through the bank. So those will come out now. More util to follow. And this now signals to Heroic the play that's taking shape. The rotate's already starting to come up from lower. Oh, yeah. He reconsiders. He takes Art's head off on that long lurk. Flank coming in as well. It's uncomfortable for Furia. Plant is really the new goal at this point. Get that money for later. Oh, two kills out of nowhere through the smoke. Flank does activate Nurse. Shoots Keserato right back through the mist. And Yuri, just trying to get closer, gets cut down Fuck from the flank. Guys. Let's keep going. That is a really nice look in the defense from Heroic, right? When they see the mid-site smoke get lobbed over, the one that kind of cuts the site in two, when it's coupled with the, the dumpster smoke like that, you want to try and play through the truck. You want to try and wrap around and get in the site so you're fighting up close with the Glocks. You're kind of cutting down Heroic as they're trying to thin the herd. But Fury never make it that far. Some well-placed shots as they're moving out through the toilets, and, and suddenly their goose is cooked before they've even made it into the site. Things go from bad to worse when they lose that player over towards Long as well. And so the, the kind of big hope for Furia of winning the pistol and having that do a lot of the work in this game is now out the window. And this becomes a real uphill battle. That lead that they have is about to disappear. Ooh. Confident display on the Antico. Heroic come gunning for the goods. And everyone wants a piece of the action. Seven apiece. So, you know, you go ahead and take a full eco there, which, by the way, rarity for a Furious squad. Admittedly, kind of map dependent on that one. You no don't want a MAC-10 yeah. either on our here. So they'll come through with all the guns, but it still has some limitations going for this first rifle run. You won't get Fallen on his AWP, yeah. which is where he did his best work. It's fair, but also you want to maximize your gun rounds, T-side overpass. You know, this game could disappear very quickly for Furious on this half and don't need the AWP super early because Farouk is still going to be running SMGs they're going to be making plays so Fury just sitting with full AKs and a Galil to allow Util on Fallen or run boost over the Molly as well Tess has already seen Heroic take more control on their CT side than Fury ever did on B short but that will help spamming out Shush on that monster smoke Tessa still has full water It's only a minor detail, but if Shush was able to get one kill in this round, they would have had an AWP in the next with a Heroic. Regardless, you know, win or lose is what I'm saying. So Kixon needs two kills. Yeah, right? Let's see if he's good for it. Tess is getting crawled upon through Connector. Oh, the timing, but still a potent position. He hears him coming, and they don't clear him. Oh, but there's one more where that came from. No escape in Fallen's grasp. Down in Monster, kicks and dies. No two for okay. you. For Fury now, they're like, let's just not mess this up, right? We, we've kind of struggled in these 4v2 type rounds. So let's just take it nice and low and slow and go group over towards Monster. Fallen's given a tiny bit more freedom to go and hold the flank, but now he's going to move in. Smoke off heaven. There we go, that's yeah, the one. That's Smoke the off up, heaven. Yeah. You forgot it there. And Furia go moving in. Heroic aren't down on B. They haven't gambled here. They both grouped over on the top site. 
And spam. even though Nikodos moves in, it's all hinging on spam. And if that doesn't connect, it's well worth the save if you're heroic. Even letting Art plant the bomb there on 10 health and 10 seconds feels terrifying. He's very low, but yeah, no nade. So it's uh, all good. Well, Furia, a big early gun round to field on the T side. And they get all AKs out as well, so. And yeah, much akin to how this first half started, right? If you remember there, it was a uh, similar story with Furia on their CT side being the ones to pick up the pistol. And if you recall, that was when Heroic actually then matched them and went on a three-round streak of their own. It started in a similar fashion to this. The one difference was that Heroic did a lot of damage in the second and third rounds since that pistol, right? Here, Furia haven't done that. And so their work's not over yet. They've got another rifle round that they've got to try and crack through before they break Heroic's money. So they don't get any freebies yet. For them to embark on a streak here is harder than what Heroic had to do in the first half. But it's far from impossible. Once again, they're gonna start off heavy down here towards B. And actually, they completely up and leave Connector even. They are just grouping to get out over towards Short. And Potess has to fall off the boost right then. That could be a disaster. Oh, he didn't even see how many players got this close. Furia look like they just wanna explode on this B bomb site right now. Got a CT Molotov and players running through that monster smoke as well. They're very blind, heroic. Shallow gets a double entry. Great shots, but Kixon still stands down in the pit, trying to buy time. Molly, Cello cannot commit through it, and that bomb gets dropped as a break comes through. Nika Doz smashes their face in, and Yuri has to pull out a clutch from absolutely nowhere. Nika Doz does light himself up with a fire. And the flank is closing in. Yuri doesn't know, but Nertz is here to close the gate on this round. 8-8. Eight, eight. Heroic survive. Trading rounds of Furia. Trading blows. As that double entry was lovely. But Nikodos changes the game. Yeah, I did. What a what a great round from Nikodos. And also Kicksan, right? Like these two have been so paramount to the success of Heroic from the second map onwards. But in both maps now, Kixan has found himself up top of the board, and that's from having an absolute stinker of an opener over on Ancient. Well, he took that personally, and he is now leading by example. He's saying, Heroic, this is what I need from you. This is what I want from you. See what I'm doing? Can you guys do that? That's meanwhile, he's been kind of quiet. And this round, it's just the one and done over in Connector. Furia will take that trade. Yeah. Can arm cello as, as well. Fallen alone with the bomb. Case okay, Rata comes along to help. Fallen looks for a long kill. Kixon's giving away nothing right now. Oh, that's a bloody good peek. Okay, Serato, no trade today. Kixon is on the ball, blows that orb out the round. And he has another fight at long available. Art He's looking for that orb, I think, but he can't find it. The grenade blew it somewhere. Where? He's messing around. Meanwhile, Kixon's closing the gap. Wow. <laughs> that is not... Oh, there's the orb. I found it, Art. Perfect nade. Yeah. Dude, what a crazy... Like, just as we're singing his praises, Kixan is, is like entering a whole new realm right now. It's crazy. I mean, Furia do make it a little easier for him, I have to say, right? This swing from Fallen, fine, like you get caught by the tree player. Keserato's a little delayed, and, and you know, I feel like when you have someone pinned in behind the tree, it is a very limiting position, right? Like to get away with a multi-kill if you're not just spraying, and that's kind of why Keserato slows it for just a second, but you feel like he should have been faster there, trying to, to make up for Fallen shortcoming. Oh, no, it's hurt this. He's in a hot pocket right now they're running him down from two sides oh he survives three kills and he's got support as well but nerds knows the ecos are his he's here for the ace and he'll take it fantastic round to just stem the bleeding of furious eco even that's a nightmare man nerds was like the one 
the one weak star that you had, the one way in, was the Nerds who's meant to be the uh, kind of hard carry player of Heroic. He was having a very, very quiet game. Not the first time you've seen it, but you deliver him a little ace, you'd be surprised what a tiny bit of confidence can do to a man like Nerds. Only up against the pistol, sure, but it's a perfect sequence out of him. And Sephiria, they call it a pause now, recognizing that this really is getting away from them. And that they're running out of time to change that. Right, they're all in on this round. They have fallen with an AWP. He's got his weapon of choice. They've got full util for everyone else. But if they don't stop this, if they don't have something to show for it right here, right now, Heroic are on their way to that finish line. And all Furia can do is watch. Watch from the stands as Heroic get to keep battling through Chengdu. Furia will be watching that from the plane home. So this is where they have to stake their claim to overpass. They've got to deliver. It'd be alongside another string of disappointing results from Furia, which is such a shame to say, considering how close that Miles game was, how close his team were to the playoffs. This round decides so much for the Brazilians. And Heroic, unbeknownst to Caserato, are on tippity top side. Checking for this short player, trying to find a five on four. They've gambled heavy, leaving Nikodos alone without an orb, but no problem so far. Fury have a lot of ground to ca close before they are a threat to this solo A-man. You can feel the weight of this round on Fury, right? And they felt like one of the missteps for them on Nuke was taking too many risks in the early round, constantly kind of playing from the back foot. And so in this round, no one wants to be that first man to fall. It's very slow. They're waiting to see if Heroic were going to give, uh, give anything up at the start on any sort of aggressive peak. And when that doesn't happen, Furia now look to take a bit of space. Ake Execute is going to keep four players down lower, but that means Furia are now on the clock. They need to go or it's so clear. That bomb's been spotted with the first jiggle. Everyone can start rotating now. It's still only Nikodos for a moment. That smoke is a problem. Covers up his vision entirely. Nikodos wants this opening kill. 15 seconds. Molly comes flying in. It hits the smoke. It's a disastrous execute for Fort Furia. And they fall one by one as the bomb is lost on long. So is any hope of winning this round. Tessas makes it so in the smoke. And Caserato left alone. It's heroic. 11 first. Two rounds away from eliminating the Brazilians here in Chengdu. Just when you felt like that fake did enough, that miss smoke. Smoke looked good, if, if anything, to land on truck to block that view, but then the Molotov extinguish gives Nika Dos everything he needs. And surely Fury go back to B now, right? That's like, that was their one way in. That's where they've had a few close rounds, a few good goes at it, but oh. they even missed the short molly. It's not perfect. Won't come to matter as Heroic don't try to take that space away. This one's feeling inevitable on the eco, just exploding through the monster smoke. Got ample players here. Okay, Serato has to win this, but he can't even get an entry kill. Pistols. Oh, I love that kicks and what a play. And they're looking for the gun again. Oh, gets caught fumbling with his fingers. Looking at the ground, sprayed through the smoke. Great head on kicks and shoulders. Does not give them anything. He knew that was a saved gun. And Furia have nothing else. I think this is one of the coolest like individual recoveries I've seen in a hot minute. Kicksan on the, on this journey that he's yeah. embarked across the series. Three kills, map one. Yeah. And getting out-called, out-maneuvered, out-read by Furia on that first map. And it's like he went away from that. And entirely, you know, reinvented the narrative for him across the, the remainder of this series. Even the even how he's been around these guns, taking them away from Fury. It's been phenomenal to watch. Hey, maybe there's something here. They've got a gun, they've got the bomb in the sight. A little fake comes through to force some spray. Low ammo forces the pistol. Kixon's uncomfortable. There's the tech nine. Team kill from the nade. Suddenly heroic are wondering what's going wrong. Great Molotov, but I think the plant will come in just in time. It might cost Yuri's life, but it's worth it in the long run. Nika Doz has to save the day. He gets his single kill. Nerds moving in from short. They've lost track of Cello at Monster, who has Nerds locked in on this 
across. Nerds hits his shot, and Fallen has only a Tech 9, but it might be enough. 1v1 from the captain of, or ex captain of Fury, of Fallen, just trying to save this map, save this series, save Chengdu for the Brazilians. He's backed up into the pit, and Nerds is coming in hot to close. Oh. Fallen somehow puts this oh. round together. And Furia lived to fight another. That is unbelievable. Just as you were going to write Furia off, just as he thought it was done, Fallen keeps them in it. And, and Nikodos, admittedly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Disaster for Heroic. How has that happened? That was the game right there. Yeah, that is, that is a colossal misstep. Oh, and sometimes TKs don't matter. Sometimes you can write them off, but that one has huge implications. You've given Fury a, a means to an end here, and still there, there are ways away from accomplishing that goal. But that's one that sits in your head. If you're Nikodos, that moment can either make or break you now. Either you try extra hard and you really want to do right by Kicksan after the game he's called, after the game he's played, or now you're kind of second guessing everything you do you feel like you've let the team down at the end of a round like that i hope they just brush it off and go again the timeout was immediate after they lose that round they know that's kind of a Ugh. an unforgivable one to give away a tilter that's what that is can Furio propel off of an eco win a 3v5 without a rifle to show for it great grenade on the boost as well yuri even slides past it Unbelievable. Fury, I have to make the most of this. Double toilet set up, and Fury are looking for control of this site. So, Nikodos wanted a chance to redeem himself. This could be his round to do it. Or is this all a fake from Furia? They, li they leave Keserato outside of B. They're going to go back and look to join him here. Yuri sits pretty down in connector. This is nice. They've got Heroic scared. They've got them right where they want them. Kixon's holding long right now to ensure this toilet setup stays stable at 45 seconds. Taking Don't a lot of resources over on upper, right? Like just to maintain that toilet's play. And so this B site is oh, now under defended. Oh, it's perfect. That Molotov will slow it down. That might buy some time for Kixon to get in position. Tessez trying to block with the smoke, trying to buy a few seconds. It does fall a little limp and he gets shot through it anyway. So forget about it. Furia might have forced a save here. A five on three with no one in the bomb site. Unless Nikodos' Molly can play bomb denial. I don't see a way. The Heroic can win this round. They must be thinking about economy in the back of their heads. Smoke on the molly. And Furia have done it. A flawless 10th round. Fallen's clutch was not for naught. They add another to the board. Oh dear, Heroic. Oh mm. dear. Now look, at least getting out with three. They, they still yeah. have some takeoff room sure. here, right? Sure. Not quite at the end of the runway but yet. But you can feel this game yeah, has changed. Yeah, yeah, we can all feel it. And I think if you're Furia, you don't look a, a gift horse in the mouth on this one, right? You acknowledge that you were handed a bit of a blinder. Thanks to Fallen. Stepping up with the Tech 9. Thanks to a miss nade from Nikodos, or I guess just an early nade from Nikodos. You've been gifted a potential way back in. And so the vibe seems a little better, right? Fallen and Art talking to one another about yeah. how they can approach this round, how they can salvage this game. So they're just saying, well, guys, we've got, you know, got this opportunity. Let's do the most of it. We have Heroic a little shaken. We have oh. the money to justify. Nikodos had a spawn here, but I'm curious if what he's going to do with it. No. it. Looks like nothing. He was gunning it up through mid. Instead, it's Util coming out. Looking like they want to try and get Nerts involved. He's the guy taking these fights out through middle. But he spots nothing on that jiggle. That'll send him away and out of there. It goes both ways, you know. No one wants to be that first domino to fall. Even on CT side, you have, you're have you so favored. 
if you play that rotate and you you just as long as you're gambling or well, not even gambling but making the right call to have that third player on the correct bomb site you're so favored to stop a 3v5 so heroic just trying to play those late rounds again burn the clock against furia who the minimark have loads of nades they can afford to throw a couple of bits in get some molotovs out of heroic make sure there's nothing left for the late game do their due diligence. They will eventually reset. This bomb is still on Fallen, but it has to come back to B. That's the game plan here for Furia. Triple setup from the start. It's nice. It's not double monster. But it does allow for trades. Going back for nades? Yeah. Even more where that came from. Sands made a bowler move here. He's kept yeah. all his util into the closing segments of the round. And considering there were flashes coming through the monster tunnel, that actually took real restraint to not trigger that earlier on when K Serato was trying to fake this. Nice entry from K Serato about time. The nade will be a bit brutal, but Furious still have the 5v4. 20 seconds. Great Molotov in from Heaven's side. Kixon trying to get back into position inside of the smoke yet again. He's lost his teammate. He is the sole bastion of hope inside of this site. K Serato won't last. The bomb gets dropped. They've got to stick it. Can they get there in time? Nurse is spamming the wrong position. Pistol out, trying to find that killing blow, but the bomb is planted. 2v1, Nika does stuck up top, and can he do it again? They need him now more than ever. Right below sits Cello. Not a position you'd expect. Nika does is looking around desperately, but a reswing can come in. It's not required. Cello closes it. And Furia find even ground, 11 apiece against Heroic. A backbreaker, a money breaker. They can only buy on three. And that was so close for Nerd, so close on the pistol spam. But a millisecond too late. Yeah, that B site hold just crumbles around Kicksan, around Nerds. And K Serato's been quiet. He's not really had a lot of impact in this game, but that entry, Albi, that five on four was a requirement for Furia. The thing that's so scary about how you lose that round if you're heroic was you had util. You had a fourth player quick in rotation yeah. down onto that B site. It's not like Furia caught you in the wrong place like they did in the previous round, right? This time you had everything where it was supposed to be. You'd maintained util to throw in at the final like 15 seconds of the round and it still wasn't enough. You're up against a whole different beast now. And with Heroic putting all their money into this round, if they come up short, Furia are teed up for the victory. It's heartbreak, whoever loses here. Whatever fashion it could be. A well-fought battle from both teams, but we must say goodbye to someone. Boost up, unnoticed, fallen resets through connector. He's allowed Yuri to get aggressive. And again, it feels like Fury. They throw a couple of nades in middle. They poise A, but it's always going to end back lower. Does Yuri have the spot? Tessis is locked into a corner right now. Yuri's come gunning through. He doesn't clear it, but the flick back is perfection. And the flash certainly makes it easy. Five on four for Furia. They're going to look to regroup. They got all the util to get them into this B site. There's a resmoke just lobbed over from. Oh, uh, it's a gamble. The top of A. To Heroic, no, it's B. done. They're playing for. They're playing for overtime. They're just hoping that Furia come A. But that block smoke is not going to stop them. No, but that's a lot of resmokes at Monster. That's the idea here, right? They've just resmoked Monster three times in a row. They're trying no. to give the illusion that Heroic have done this gamble down towards B. Oh, this no. is a very smart round for Heroic that has fully manipulated what Furia wanted to do. And now they're going to play right into this stack. Nikodos opens for Furia. They have been handled. They have been corrupted by the mind of Kicksan on the other side, and this util funnels them into the stack. Furia will not know it, but they were just manipulated in the most insane way. Oh my goodness, what a call. What a call. That looked like they were throwing in the towel. 
but it brought Furia right into their home. He rotated up and they were just dropping Nikodov's smokes over at Dumpster and he threw them on timings that, that would never make sense if you were trying to defend me, but it's just to give that illusion. There's lots of us here. Fury have no map control. They just run up connect and they just sprint into A thinking they have room, they have a timing, they have a gap and everyone's there. Three players are on top side in an instant. The AWP nails one. And again, Kesarato, it just has to be said, how many rounds is everyone dead? He's not even peeking. He swings after time. He's stuck. Sure, he's dead either way, but so many rounds where he's in 1v4s that can't be won. And Furia, oh, after the Mao's calamity, after the near comeback from 10-2 down, they got match point, they got playoff point, they fall into the lower bracket in the third map. And now this, if they lose here, that's going to be horrifically painful. One round from playoffs, and now maybe one round from surviving elimination. And Fury are shook. Like, you could see it when we cut back to them after that round. They, they can't believe they just gave that one away. They're going to group up over here in middle. Nikodos trying to give oh. Fallen a taste of his own medicine. And the question on the desk was, Fallen is a better AWP, surely. But in this last round of play, that kill may be the only one that matters. Right now... Nika Doz is trying to drag Heroic over that finish line. Missed shot. Cello gets closer. The orb has been secured by Art. It will have to be the secondary of Furia to set the record straight. Nerds gets aggressive. Kicks in, can supplement him with Util. He can block the other side. Furia funneled back into this site. Thirty seconds left as they're still poising for this hit, but Nertz is making moves right now, trying to disrupt, and he will get away with it. Just the one and done, but that's enough to pull Heroic, an extra man, back up into defense of this top site. Kicksat now makes the call. It is going to be A. This time, there's no trickery, there's no doubt, and the rest of Heroic are still a ways away. He's just got to get one from the back of the site. There's 10 seconds. This bomb has to be stuck. Caserato trying to get it down. Oh, has the swing angle, but they come out on the other side. And that is it, folks. Furia eliminated in Chengdu. Nothing Art can do. And the clock expires with players still standing. Heroic somehow shut this game down in the final moments. The last couple of punches. And Furia, a knockout blow. They were around from playoffs against Maus, and now they go home empty handed. Yeah, this was a tournament of a single round difference for.